Hey, thanks for tuning in. Let's build, paint, weather, and assemble the fighting compartment of the Mini R Panzer IV. If you haven't seen the box opening, please check that out later. Link in the description. Let's start building the components. Since there are so many parts to this kit, I'll show you the parts and then the built subassembly. I'll focus more on showing the painting and weathering. Part prep in general was quite good. Minimal flash and mold lines. These will be black. And I added this. These are the ammo containers. These will be painted and added later. I'll do the shells at the end, but we'll add the PE parts now. The fit was fantastic. I only had one issue a bit later. I'm not doing the lids, but there are PE latches. Doing one of these full interior kits has taught me a lot about the inner workings of the Panzer IV. Again, I need to paint and weather them before assembly. The control rod DB25 broke, so I replaced it with wire. The parts ending up red-brown, steel, or dark gray were primed in black. Mr. Surfacer 1500, 50% Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. I then covered those pieces with steel for chipping under the red-brown or dark gray. I decanted hairspray into a bottle and then sprayed it on with an airbrush. I really like this AK Real Color Red-Brown. Now for the parts that end up interior white. You don't have to use pink surfacer. Gray or even black would be fine. I covered them with the red-brown for the chipping effect under the white. I apply the hairspray at 20 psi. The elfenbein I have is very beige, so I added a drop of that to off-white. Good old Tamiya Panzer Gray. The hairspray chipping will work with Mr. Color Lacquers. It just takes more time and effort, which I prefer. It gives me more control. I forgot to paint the battery. So everything is now primed, painted, and chipped. I did most all of the weathering with oils. A pea-sized amount in two mils of VMS Universal Carrier. I used yellow, white, burnt sienna, and raw umber from Windsor & Newton, AK interior wash, and AK engine wash in that sixth well. 
For the white parts, I started with a light overall wash with the AK interior. A pin wash with the raw umber. And more again in certain places. This would have been so worn and dirty. I followed the interior wash with burnt sienna. For the red brown parts in the engine bay, I started with AK engine wash all over. and a pin wash of the Abtailum grease. This will be packed with stuff, so I'm not sure how much of the floor will be seen. I wanted to give the effect of oil and fuel spills and leaks. Red-brown parts in the fighting compartment was covered with AK interior wash. followed by a pin wash of raw umber, an engine pin wash in certain places. Once the washes had dried, I went over everything with the pixie dust. Vallejo Dark Steel Pigment. My basic decal process is to remove the decals from the sheet with small scissors. I put it in water for 5 to 8 seconds and then place it on a paper towel. I place some water where the decal will go. I add the decal and let it adhere down. I wait a few and then coat them with Microsol to conform. I added some GX100 clear to the dials for a glass effect. Filming this was a nightmare. I was constantly moving stuff around in my hands. I added this to the trans. Then this. Then the other rail. Then the brace at the front. Then the heating pipes. Then it goes right into four indexing points on the floor. At the end, I went through the instructions to make sure I hadn't missed anything. The seat is supposed to be leather brown. I will rectify that during episode 2, 
and weather it in situ. I added the radio stack and the other ammo bin. And the vent tube. I toned down that bright red in a bit. I think we're ready for the ammo and wrap up this episode. There are three kinds of shells. They were primed with Mr. Surfacer 1500, then in Mr. Metal Metallic Brass. The different ammo gets different head decals. 11 millimeters is not long enough. I started with 20 and then trimmed one end until it was right on. I'm not sure what color, I just went with satin black. I got all that done in six mornings. Thanks for watching. I'm having a lot of fun so far on this. And thanks again, Crazy Locha, for your generous support. Be well, and happy modeling.